Hey guys, Computer Star 2255 here, and today I have an installation tutorial of a really famous mod by the name of Mo Creatures mod. So I'm sure most of you have, most of you have heard about this mod. It's a really famous mod. It's really cool, and basically what it does is add adds a bunch of new uh, creatures, new animals to your Minecraft worlds. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Mo Creatures mod is, I would say, one of the most difficult mods to install. It's not that difficult, but it is slightly more different. Um, than installing other uh, mods that require Forge. So to begin with, uh, first of all, you need, you need to download four files, uh, and the, all the four files can be found in this website. I'll have the link to this website in my video description below. But basically, once you get here, you want to scroll down to uh, this part here, and once you get here, what you want to do is install these four things. That's Mo Creatures Mod, the Forge Client, GUI API, and Custom Mob Spawner. Just install both of, uh, just install all four of these, and just keep them somewhere on your desktop. I've kept them on this folder here. So as you can see, I have all the four files, so I'm good to go. Also, I would recommend making a Minecraft backup just in case your Minecraft uh, like messes up or something like that. Uh, just in case that happens, um, if you have a backup, you can always restore it. So I, I already have made a backup here, so I'm good. So now to begin installing it. Uh, now what you want to do is, if you are on Mac OS X Mountain Lion, then uh, click on Go up here, and then press Alt Option key on your keyboard. And as you can see, Library comes up. Click on that, then click Application Support, and then Minecraft. If you are not on Mac OS X Mountain Lion, if you are on 10.7 or earlier, then what you want to do is click on Go up here again, and then instead click on Go to Folder. And then write this exact thing in this box. Uh, I will have this in the description so you can copy paste it and then click go. Once you get here, click Minecraft and then click bin. If you are not on a Mac, if you are on Windows, then uh, you have to click on the start button over here and then write uh, %appdata% This will also be in the video description just in case you are on Windows 7 or, or Vista. So anyways, once you get to the bin, now what you want to do is find this file called minecraft.jar. Right click on it and then press get info. Or you can press uh, click on it and then press command I if you wish. And now next to the name and extension tab, press the arrow with the, with the box. And then here in the box you want to write .zip. Just like that. Then close it and uh, you click use.zip. So now you're left with a zip file which you can extract by double clicking. So do go ahead and do that. And as you can see, we get, we get a folder. So the zip file can be deleted now. We no longer need it. Uh, and now you can go inside the Minecraft.jar folder that you just made. So as you can see, there's a bunch of class files over here. And somewhere uh, here, there should be a folder by the name of meta-inf. There you go. I just found it. Um, you can search for it if you like, or you can just find it the way I like, the way I found it. So basically, once you find it, just delete it. Just drag it to the trash because meta-inf, for those of you who don't know, is a folder that stops mods from being installed. So if you want to get a mod, then you have to uh, you have to first delete meta inf. So once that is done, now what you want to do is uh, go to the uh, go to the four files that you downloaded. Once again, I recommend keeping them somewhere on a on a folder for easy access. So first of all, the one you want to mess with is Minecraft Minecraft Forge. So if it's in a zip file, just um, double click it to extract it. And uh, if you already have a folder, then just go inside the folder. And as you can see, there's a bunch of class files here as well. So now what you'll do is highlight everything, which you can do by pressing Command A. Uh, or if you're on Windows, I believe you can do Control A. Uh, so basically, just highlight everything and drag everything to Minecraft.jar. Uh, click Apply to All and then Replace. Once that is done, you can close everything out. And um, Forge is pretty much installed. But you do need to do one more thing that's pretty easy. All you have to do is log into Minecraft. And as you can see, this box comes up which says Forge Mod Loader is setting up your Minecraft environment. So it shouldn't take too long, just wait. And uh, once again, once that's done, you will be presented with the normal Minecraft Mojang screen. And you can verify that you have completely successfully installed Forge by looking down here. It says Minecraft Forge 7.7.1.611 has now been installed. As you can see, it's Minecraft version 1.5.1. So we've installed Forge, and now uh, now we're gonna go ahead and install more creatures. And to do that, it's a little bit more diff it's a little slightly different than most other mods that require Forge. 
but it's really not that hard. So once again, go back into your Minecraft folder. Um, so I'll go to application support, Minecraft. And now, what, once you're here, uh, you want to find a folder by the name of core mods. Remember, it's not just mods, that is a different folder. The one you're looking for is called core mods. So once you find it, just go inside it. And uh, once again, open the folder with the four files that you downloaded. Uh, here, what you want to do is the jar file, which is GUI.API. Just drag that inside core mods. Uh, and then go back. And now what you want to go, what you want to do is go into the mods folder. This is different than core mods. Remember, it's different. So now just go into the mods folder. And the only two files that we have not messed with currently is this one and this one. So we just want to drag both of these into mods. Once that is done, you can close everything out and log into Minecraft. We are pretty much done installing the mod. But I guess uh, last step is only to uh, see if we have installed this mod. The thing with Forge is that that box will come up every time you log into Minecraft. But again, it's not a huge deal. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if this mod is compatible with Optifine or too many items. I have not personally tested that out. But if someone does test it out, please be sure to leave a comment below. So you can click on mods over here, and you can see the things we have installed. Or we can go into single player. Uh, I'll just create a new world really quickly, and I'll show you that this does work. Does indeed work. So there you go. We have just made a new world. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, lower my render distance and everything. And uh, basically, you just have to, you you can just walk around basically or fly around in this case and until you find a new animal because remember more creatures adds in a bunch of new animals so uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find one um, I think I'll just go look for one right now and once I find one I shall come back Stay okay guys welcome back uh, so as you can see I've just found a little fox I, I, I don't know I think it's a fox looks like a fox but uh, yeah as you can see uh, a fox is one of the items that one of the animals that this mod adds so there you go that's proof that this mod has been successfully installed whoops <laughs> oh god sorry about that so yeah um there you go uh what is this i have no idea what this is but as you can see another animal has just been found so oh and a bumblebee too i think there's also a bunch of um water creatures as you can see there's a shark here somewhere uh that's a lot of sharks actually there's sharks, there's jelly, jelly uh, fishes, there's regular fishes, there's piranhas. There's a lot of new uh, new uh, animals with this mod. So also if you click on options and you click on, uh, as you can see, this global mod option now. You can click on that and then click uh, more creatures and you can change some general settings and whatnot here. But uh, that is basically about it, you guys. So, uh, sorry about that. So as you can see, you successfully installed the more creatures mod. Again, it's a really cool mod. It adds in a bunch of new animals. You can check out all the animals over here. Uh, it says, as you can see, it's elephants, uh, dragons, bunch of new stuff. And also, this current version that we just installed also adds a new animal, uh, the the wirens, which is available in this version. And that's how it looks. So as you can see, there's dragons, insects, snails. Horses, snakers, manta rays, string rays, jellyfish. Basically, it's a bunch of new animals. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that installation tutorial. And if you've had, if you guys are having any difficulties whatsoever installing this mod, then please be sure to leave a comment below or personal message me on YouTube, and I shall be glad to help. Uh, for then, if I can get eight likes, eight or nine likes for this video, then I will release the next video, which will be installation tutorial on another mod. I'm not sure which mod I'll do. Uh, if you guys want to, if you guys need help on a specific mod, then please be sure to leave a comment below, uh, telling me which which mod you want to do, and um, I'll check it out. So uh, yeah, don't forget to rate, uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you really like this video, and I will see you guys later. Peace. <music>